You really are. He's really trying to make this seem like this foul play. It's inc incredible. Well, you have to admit there's something peculiar. Why would somebody do a lot of fencing, come in here and take a bath, and then right away run down to the gym and do another exercise session? I don't understand that. Do you understand that? Norman. Lieutenant, this is my loving brother, Norman. Mrs. Peck informs me you're considering an autopsy. Norman, Lieutenant uh, Colombo is a full-fledged sleuth. Homicide. He, he suspects foul play from you. At the risk of being officious, Lieutenant, uh, I think an autopsy might be a very, very good idea indeed. You know, uh, Lieutenant, we are very identical twins, Norman and I. Uh, he, too, has flat feet. <laughs> I know that word, and I can never pronounce it. Anyway, severe heart seizure, that's what it is. You know, a, a strong blow, some kind of shock, things like that. George, you have some paperwork to do? Oh, yes, sir. Excuse me. Some kind of shock, you say? Psychological or physical? Uh, well, it could be either one in a man his age. Yes, but what about tension or garden variety overexertion in, in a man his age? Uh, well, yes, uh, yes. I gotta tell you, Mr. Fox, I'd be a nervous wreck if I had to work around all this money. I mean, the responsibility. What you mean is you're measuring my traits and responses against those of my brother. Not so? Well, why would I do that? Why not? Because you're sniffing around for a suspect to a possible homicide. Again, not so? You are a very logical man. Boy, are you logical. Yes, but let me tell you what I am not. I'm neither flighty nor a dilettante, neither unreliable nor a low-life sponger who chases women and dreams of inheriting other people's wealth. Now, that I trust will end any comparison between my brother and myself and any conjecture as to who the logical suspect might be. Good day. Uh, Mr. Paris, there's one other thing I wanted to talk to you about. It's rather personal. Yes, I know. Because my uncle died before his marriage, I stand to inherit half of his estate. But as to that being any sort of motive, let me point out that I am wealthy in my own right, with neither wife nor darling kitties to encumber me. And if, in fact, I were possessed of a criminal mind, I would find it much much simpler to embezzle than to kill my uncle for it. Which is more than I can say for my brother. Now, if you'll excuse me, uh, I have exactly 47 minutes to catch a plane to San Francisco. Good day. Oh, Lieutenant, but I really must go. For instance, that upstairs bathtub, if somebody went in there and, let's say, dropped an electrical appliance in there, in that bathtub, during a time when it was occupied, I mean. Now, look, you come in here with a subtlety of a train wreck, and you ask me what electric mixers I use. You know, I didn't want to bother you personally, but I checked with your secretary, and she told me that you ordered up two brand new mixers only last week. <laughs> My brother put you up to it, right? No, sir. No, he didn't. One, two. Yeah, my brother's beautiful. He's beautiful. I'm sure he put it to you, didn't he? Oh, I can see him now. Yeah, it's my brother. Dexter? Unreliable. Dilettante. Waiting for Uncle to die so we can feed off his millions. Yes, if you want a suspect, I suggest you keep an eye on him, Lieutenant. Must go now. Terribly sorry. Toodaloo. How was that? Close? Close? That was terrific. Yeah. You're very talented. No, I mean that. Thank you. And you're right. That's pretty much what he said. Let me ask you a question. Did you hurl the same defamatory remarks at him? He doesn't seem to have much of a motive to kill your uncle, uh, sir. He... <laughs> I mean, he's established. He has money of his own. Let me tell you something, Lieutenant. My brother happens to be a creature of habit. Today is Wednesday, correct? 
Did he happen to tell you he was going to fly to San Francisco on a business trip? Yes. It's amazing. Yes, he did. Yeah, I thought so. You doing anything for the next couple of hours? Come on. Where are we going? I'm going to visit my brother. See his motive. to come down two years ago, but my wife switched sides and voted with my in-laws. We ended up in Animal Land. It was nothing like this. You see that second crap table over there? Over there. Recognize anybody? Seven No. Right. Tells me he's going to San Francisco. That's right. This is the San Francisco right. trip? Right, it comes here every Wednesday in rain or shine, in sickness or in health. Mostly in sickness. Hey, you like the last impersonation I did of you? You're gonna love this one. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Come on. Well, well, Mr. Paris. I believe this is the first time in three years I've seen you without a necktie on. What can I do for you today? Well, I'm not here to beg another credit extension, but this gentleman is willing to advance me sufficient funds to uh, help me diminish my indebtedness to this estate. Just one minute, Norman. I'm willing to do that, ma'am. I'd like to know how much he owes first exactly. Do you have that on file? Yes, of course. We have that one right here. We have markers from Mr. Paris totaling $37,500. Enough evidence. That is what you said, huh, Colombo? Huh? Come on. Sound. Uh, don't forget your big six and your big eight, folks. Don't forget your pass line. Here we go. Get your bets down, folks, and new shooter. Shooter coming out. Here we go now. Get to make a bet, sir. Watch your hands. Watch your hands, folks. Eight, the number, easy eight. Seven, a loser! Just one more thing.